So brief history of CLT developed in Austria. Um, Europeans have been using this for you know well over 25 years. As it came across the pond, um, with it came some uh, standards for performance. Uh, Canadians adopted the European code, amended it. Uh, we adopted the Canadian code, amended it, and we're you know all operating under that uh, the ANSI APA PR 320. Um, and then in the code, as was mentioned earlier, there are provisions in the code in 2015. They're pretty limited. There's an expansion of the code that will be introduced in 18 um, that they're presently working on, and hopefully we'll continue to get CLT and mass timber into more and more buildings. What is CLT? Again, um, plywood on steroids is the simplest way to explain it. Um, you know, perpendicular layers uh, run at a bias to one another. Our press, we can do 12 feet up to 41 feet and up to nine layers deep. Here's actually a, a building we just completed in Utah under construction. But here's an example of just a component to a building. Um, this is an elevator shaft. You can also look at a stairwell system. But you know, a typical CMU <coughs> um, elevator shaft, which is very common, um, it drives the whole project. And the, the entire schedule of that project is driven on getting these elevator shafts up. So you're generally looking at over a month in construction time, you know, a dozen workers, several inspections every eight feet. It's weather dependent. Um, it's, it can create a lot of uh, constraints in your schedule. So a very simple solution to that <coughs> is CLT product. And we've actually got several of these in use. Um, this does depend on what code jurisdiction you're in. There is some ongoing testing on you know, the, uh, the fire rating of this element. It's interesting, they did a test in Canada with the FP Innovations and they were looking for a two hour rating on a five ply and they ended up getting in excess of three and a half hours. So again, we're gonna prove out some of these metrics. This is actually a picture of one that we uh, have installed quite closer, it's Quebec City. Yeah, so now we're, you know, one to two day in installation with the CLT panel. This project's been shown many times. I actually have the time lapse of it. This is the Redstone project in Alabama done by Lend Lease. We're actually, actually partnering with them on some things coming up here. Um, Bill Tobin, who's the, the guy internally, is kind of pushing that with Lend Lease. <coughs> Again, all these challenges we're finding with workforce and numbers of people, and particularly projects that generate revenue, uh, I think they cut six months off their schedule on this project. So those are real numbers. And again, what's interesting for us on the sales side, and it was covered in, in more than one presentation, is measuring the benefits of this, you have to do over a wide range of things. And it's very dependent on where you are in the country. Um, you know, available workforce, you know, weather conditions, uh, pricing, transportation. I mean, there's just a lot of different metrics. And more times than not, we're finding that, again, when you look at the whole picture, it's a, it's a good solution to it. Framing labor reduced by 43%, and, you know, real good energy performance numbers as well. So instead of 44 to 50 guys, 11 guys and a crane operator. And then to close, this is actually, I'm, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Uh, this is my third CLT building I have on my property. And this is a 7,000 square feet of constructed space for a horse barn. And we had the crane there for five days. And that's it.